This week, RIM plans a major commercial at the big game, the 5-inch iPhone, and Danny at Windows Phone Central submits a story that isn't a month old for me to report on. This is the Mobile Nation's Monday Brief. Greetings, mobile delegates. I'm Ashley Esqueda, and you're tuned in to the Mobile Nation's Monday Brief. Whoa, Crackberry Nation, this is the week. After a long and sometimes precarious wait, BB10 is set to be official in a scant few days. Of course, RIM's taking advantage of their fortuitous timing with a commercial set to air during the big game this Sunday. That's right, mere days after showing off BB10 in all its glory, RIM will be showing off BB10 to the masses via the largest ad buy of the year. It'll be a 30-second ad spot, and as always, with Super Bowl commercials, it's shrouded in mystery. Will they show off BlackBerry Hub, the Z10 hardware design? Or maybe we'll see something a little more abstract. We'll be watching, and if we know the CrackBerry Nation, we know they'll be glued to their television sets too. Keep hitting up CrackBerry.com for every detail this week. It's launch time, guys. Alex Toby at Android Central took a look back at the last two months since the Nexus 4 hit the market and posted his thoughts about the device. He's been using his Nexus 4 for 70 days now and says that scratches on the glass back are pretty much inevitable unless you are crazy cautious about it. But that's not to say it's less durable than your average smartphone. It's definitely something to consider though if you're on the fence. The hardware is pretty future proof for now with the exception of the camera and LTE is still kind of a mess, but Alex insists that he'd still recommend the Nexus 4 if anyone wanted his opinion about it. It's still just about impossible to get one from the Google Play Store, so I think he's not alone in his endorsements. iMore's Renee Ritchie took to the site last week to discuss the rumors about the 5-inch iPhone. Now we all know that every new iDevice rumor is to be taken with a very large grain of salt, but last time when we heard about the potential 4-inch iPhone, Renee made some mock-ups showing off how Apple might change up the phone's screen. Now he's got mock-ups of a potential 5-inch iPhone screen size and discusses different resolutions and how likely they are. I won't spoil it for you, so you'll have to head over to imore.com for the full write-up. Windows Phone Central reporting on the official release date for the WinPhone 7.8 update on the Nokia Lumia 900. The update's scheduled to go live on the 30th, so in a couple days, and it attempts to freshen up non-Windows Phone 8 devices with some requested features like an updated start screen, stability and security fixes, and some marketplace enhancements. While it's not a complete upgrade to Windows Phone 8, it still helps quite a bit for those of you out there locked into a contract with no upgrade in sight. No word yet on any other 7.8 updates to other AT&T Windows Phone devices though, so sorry HTC Titan 2 owners. Derek Kessler wrote up a state of webOS post last week on webOS Nation, taking a look at the last year of webOS's journey and seeing where it might go in the future. A year ago last week, HP unveiled their open source roadmap and strategy for webOS, and since then we've seen some promising updates and hacks via the webOS ports team and other motivated developers. Since Open WebOS went public, we've seen it loaded onto a Nexus 7, had a virtual keyboard hit alpha, and other fun stuff. Derek's optimistic, though, that WebOS will have a place now that it's entirely in the open source realm. And if you want to read more about where WebOS has been and where it might go, hit up webosnation.com. That's it for your Mobile Nations Monday Brief. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash mobile nations. Check out our dazzling and informative podcasts at mobilenations.com slash shows. And you can follow me on Twitter at Ashley Eskeva. Nations, you have been briefed.